Happy Good Friday, everybody. And hello, Cinnabon. Hey. Sorry to disturb you, buddy. We are wrapping up our Q&A videos. Finally, I know. You're probably just as relieved as I am. Cinnabon doing some stretching, hmm? We have about three quarters of a page of questions, so thank you for all the questions, everybody, and all the nice comments. You almost said a word, didn't you? Yeah. You're getting better at English, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, let's start with the first question. How much does Cinnamon weigh now? That's a very rude question. I'm just kidding. He is about 10 pounds, just like he was before at the vet. I'm assuming I haven't really weighed him in a while, but he looks the same, feels the same, at least for, for me. He looks like he may have doubled in treat size. <laughs> well, I give him more treats than normal, which is good. He deserves it. You're balancing pretty well on that, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. So, he's about the same. He may look bigger sometimes because of his winter coat, which he's losing right now. Are you open to get more cats? Not at the moment. I don't think Cinnabon would get along with more cats. He typically responds poorly to other cats, so I don't think I'll get him one anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about placing a tiny camera on Cinnabon to watch him explore surroundings? I get asked that quite a bit. I haven't in a while though, but uh, maybe if I can find a safe way to do it, it would be super interesting. I'm just not sure I want to do that quite yet. You want to lay down on there? That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You gonna chill down there for a while? Yeah. He always seems to move around when I talk a lot. Regarding the catio idea, have you considered putting one of those retractable awnings on the back of your house? Probably not. It might look kind of janky, but maybe. Perhaps you'd stand your deck instead of under it when it rains. You could sit out there and enjoy the rain as well. Huh, I didn't think of it that way. That's a good point. Maybe. I just don't know. That might look a little weird. I may, though. It depends, I suppose. Have you ever awoken to see Bon Bon staring at you? Oh yeah, it's not often, but I have before. Usually he'll like, like lightly touch my face or my shoulder and I'll wake up and he's right there looking at me. When you're taking care of business in the bathroom, does he always insist on being with you? No, not really. He really doesn't. I know a lot of cats that, or know of some cats and dogs that do that. He really doesn't care, which is kind of nice. We respect each other's privacy in that regard. How often does Cinnabon jump on your chest once a day? Pretty much every single time I lay down on the couch, if he's not occupied with something, he'll do that, which is kind of cool. I'm pleasantly surprised to know that you've played Doom. Yeah, that's a fun game. Have you seen the new Doom Eternal? I watched the trailer, I believe. There are crossover videos with Animal Crossing. It's very wholesome. You should check it out when you can. Lex, give Cinema plenty of hugs from us all. I will. Thanks for the suggestions. Yeah, I love the game Doom. I've heard great things about the, the newer ones, but I haven't played, I haven't played video games in... A long time like seven years with the exception of like classic old video games you know Lex there's one thing I'd like to ask you for your next Q&A have you read the book a street cat named Bob I have not or seen the film I have not seen the film either it's just as lovely a story as yours really oh thank you I'll have to look into that a young man who was an ex-heroin addict oh just like me I <laughs> just tease him and a ginger cat who decided to live with him okay I would very much urge you to check it out I will remember that the film would be a perfect movie night for you in cinema. I'm sure it would be. Thanks for the suggestion. Do you think the virus could be chemical warfare? This is a different question. Or even on purpose by a militant group? That's a good question. Um, do you think the virus could be chemical warfare? I don't know. I'm not qualified to answer that. I've heard that a lot of people... It's sort of a conspiracy theory. I'm not a big conspiracy theorist person, but I certainly think it's possible. In this case, I don't know. I... I have my doubts. My understanding is something went wrong at a Chinese meat market, but who knows? How does anyone really know, right? I don't know, but I have no idea. that that's, It's certainly possible. I'm sure it has happened before. I totally forgot to ask you if, if you have any plans for the garden on your property. Okay. Uh, I do. Not a whole lot, though, as far as planting stuff. So there's a garden... Um, on one side of my house. You've seen it before. It's It was abandoned when I moved in for a while. I removed the fence around it just because it looked worse. Now it's just like a big square of overgrown kind of patch. It still grows asparagus in there. It's always grown asparagus since I've lived here. In fact, I didn't notice it until my mom mentioned it because they had grown too big and you can't eat them when they're too big. It's dangerous. I guess they're poisonous. But it does grow asparagus. I would say three, four, five, maybe six platefuls of asparagus a year, which is really cool. So it's a nice enough for a nice side. Usually there's two or three good ones going at a time. So I check it, you know, it goes for the time of year when, when you get it. It's pretty good. So I'll break off three to four of them and eat them, you know, uh, pan fry them for 
five or six minutes, you know, and they're very tasty. So I get those, and that's the only thing that I really noticed in the garden. Everything else must have just died off because I haven't really done anything or planted anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of the garden probably 75% and use... I want it to look natural. I don't want to put a fence there. So I'm going to get big rocks and kind of put them around the asparagus at least. And maybe leave a little bit of room for something else. I don't know what I'm going to grow in there yet. But at least I'm going to make it look a little better and make a big square of rocks around the asparagus so it looks a little more natural. And the rest of it I'm just going to turn to grass for the yard. So I probably should have did that a long time ago. But I, I, I prepped it before things got too cold this year. And that, folks, wraps up the Q&A session. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah, this is probably the shortest Q&A video I've done. Normally they're like 20 minutes. Hmm. Yeah. So what do you think about that, Cinema? Hey, buddy. Hi, Cinema. Let's see if he wants to play. We haven't done playtime yet today. Oh, do you want to go play downstairs for a little bit, buddy? Hmm? Do you want to go downstairs? Oh, okay. I think he's into this. Yeah. No better way to wrap up a Q&A series than with playtime, huh? Yeah. He's a little tired, I think. That's okay. You're being a good kitty. You like to boop your head around everything, huh? You like to boop your head around? Oh, there's your little magic wand. Oh. There we go. <laughs> you weren't sure about it for a while, were you? No, you weren't sure. So as I mentioned before in other videos, oh, actually, you know what? I don't know if I mentioned this yet because these are in videos that haven't been released yet. <laughs> I ordered Breaking Bad, the complete series on Blu-ray, and it was supposed to arrive today. And I checked the tracking and it says it's in St. Louis, Missouri, which is like over seven hours away from me, which is ridiculous because it was shipped from the east side of the state a couple hours away where I live. So either the person sent me the wrong tracking number, hopefully, and then it's going to be in the mailbox today, or something really weird happened, but I'm, it's first world problem, right? Ooh. I offended somebody in the video. Whoa. I offended somebody for making a, a joke about my internet being third world. Which I never realized would offend somebody because that implies that I'm in a first world country. But apparently it offended that person, so maybe I offended more people by saying that uh, it's a first world problem, but whatever. You can't say anything today without offending somebody, right? Whoa! People got get offended when I pet Cinnabon in the middle of the daytime, too. Whoa! Look at the hand! His hands are coming through the door! Oh. That's scary. Oh, oh my goodness. That scared me. Oh, peekaboo. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hit your hand like that. Oh, no. Let's just watch him play with it. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, buddy. What a good little kitty. You've been such a good kitty today. Oops, sorry. I scared him by knocking the door by mistake. Yeah. You're such a good kitty cat. You're such a good kitty. I wonder how many people I'm going to upset by petting him right now. Yeah. How can you resist though, right? Ooh. Whoa. I've been incorporating playtime with the door now. He likes to. He likes doors. He has a door thing. Maybe Cinnabon was a cop in a past life when they're just knocking doors down everywhere. Ooh. Or knocking on the doors, pounding on the doors. Or maybe he used to play Doom, finding the red key cards, the yellow key cards, the blue key cards, trying to get into the, I don't remember if there's green key cards, but trying to get into the various locked doors. Yeah. Ooh. That was one thing the newer Doom film got right. They had a lot more video game references. As bad as people say that movie is, is actually more true to the game than, than the one from 2005. The one from 2005 I enjoyed a lot more. It's a just way better production. But I gotta say, the new one impressed me. I was expecting garbage and it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. 
and I hope they do a sequel. They better. I'm sure they can afford it. I mean, I, I can't. I'm sure the other one didn't make a lot of money, but... Oh, no! Oh, no. Can you get a couple of between the gold loops? Whoa! Actually, there's a silver. I'm sorry. Oh. Good thing I don't work at a pawn shop. Yeah. This step is loose. Probably thought I was just blown up over here now. Oh, it's interesting. Wonder if it's one of those fake steps. I know of somebody that at their house, they have non-skeletonized stairs, and they can lift one of the steps up, and they can, it's like a hiding spot. How cool is that, buddy? It's a step hiding spot. Isn't that cool? They're pretty into like having secret compartments. They have a fake register vent. Yeah, but professionals, they know how to find all that stuff. And yeah, yes, they do. Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead and end this video. I hope you all are safe out there. This is, again, one of those videos that's recorded the day, just probably an hour or two before it's actually posted, so I can have a little more up-to-date talk with you. So I hope everyone's being safe out there. You know, only going out of the house when they have to, as far as, well, they can go in the house, but... Depending on where you live, there's various restrictions and going shopping. So, you know, if you have to leave the house, just please be safe. Wash your hands, wear some PPE. That's personal protective equipment or personal protection equipment, whatever. You know, so be safe out there, everybody. We'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Good Friday. Easter is just around the corner. Bye-bye.